In the last video, we have created control, controller and view by using command line tool called Cakewake. In this chapter, we will try to create controller view manually. So let's get started. So this is the last screen we have created. There is a class called user class and a function called add function. When you're calling this function add action, it is displaying this particular direct in the screen where I can enter data. So this is my controller, users controller. And these are all functions here, index function, there's the view function. So we have these functions and add functions. Similar to this, just we are trying to create a new function. At the bottom of the page, so this is the delete function. So I want to create a new function. So we write public function. So show me this is a function I'm creating. So this is open and close. And this function is completely blank. So corresponding to this particular function, I'm going to create a new <coughs> CTP file, so underscore me. So let's try to run this program first. Go to the browser and type this users class. I have created a function called show me. So I'm clicking here. It is showing that some error message is coming, template missing. So it is showing so underscore me function so underscore me dot ctv file I have to create inside the users folder. So let's go to your users. This is your template. Inside the template, there is a folder called users folder. Inside the folder, I am to create a new file. That file name should be <coughs> user. And oh, sorry. So me, so underscore me dot ctp file. So this is my file name. This is inside this thing. So so me dot. Okay. So this is my file. So I have, why I have created this so underscore me dot ct file because the file the function name is like this. This is camel style. So if the function is like this, there is a camel style file function name. So we should write underscore so underscore me. So this is a function. <coughs> so I'm writing this one. And this is uh, template for <coughs> so me action. So this is a function, this is a function, and I'm calling this action. Go to the browser again, refresh it. Now this is this a template for. So the function I'm calling show me and it's calling your <coughs> CTV file. So this is the CTV file. So in this way, you can create functions inside your controller and at the same time, you can create the corresponding CTV file. So now, what I have to do is go to your controller and these functions, I'm writing something. This, there is function called set function. This is a controller function. I'm creating a variable like name variable. And inside the name, I'm writing <coughs> my name is Ravi. So this right. So this is the function, show me. And inside the show me function, I use set function. This is a variable, this is a variable. So this variable can be used inside the variable for 
not to be high. So I can use this variable. Now I have the user and the name, the variable, the variable this. Go to your show me dot CTV file. Here I can print my variable name. Let's say I can do like this. So go to the browser. As you see, this is the output of this particular function show me because this is a variable I have created in my controller and it is represented or printed in your CTV file. So to communicate, to give some data from your controller to your view file, you can use a function called set function. So in this way, you can create different <coughs> functions. And you can communicate with the function. Before reading all this, this is creating going further in the controller. I can say there's something like this namespace. At the beginning of the uh, file controller, this is the namespace because I am working in the controller, so that's why it's the application controller. I'm extending a class called app controller so I have to use this class so you have to write use application controller and app controller so use for statement is basically used to use a particular class and namespace is basically used to segregate your classes in different namespaces because I am using a controller I am creating a controller so I have to use this controller so this is how you can create a controller in view manually you can use this thing or you can use other way the second way is the cake bake by using a command prompt you can also use in the next session we'll try to create a crude operation how to get data from the database how to read data from the database how to insert data from the database delete from the database so in the next chapter we'll go deeper into this operation in the controller and uh, view and same time i'll introduce to you the model the third entity of your cake php application till then bye